Week 31 in the Scottish Premiership and Glasgow is about to be taken over by football. Some derbies are based purely on competition for trophies, some are based purely on proximity and others are purely cultural, but this derby has everything. And when it comes to a football and spectacle, they don't get much more intense than this. To describe this fixture to somebody that's got no idea, I would say it's the most intense football rivalry in the world. Um, it goes beyond football. It's um, you know two two peoples that are completely opposed in almost every sort of subject, um, and that you know that's what it goes beyond. It's obviously not the best football. We know that, but it's the that atmosphere and intensity that, that makes it so special. It's one of the most fiercely competitive rivalries uh, in world football. Uh, because we are in the mix of it, uh, it for me it's the best. Uh, it's it's so um, it's such a it's, it's a hotbed of uh, aggressive, um, competitive, uh, like just the 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 players always come out um, fighting tooth and nail uh, to come out on top of the fixture, um, and the fans, uh, the passion, um, the the rivalry between the fans. Uh, everything in the fixture really comes to boiling point on the day. For all the hype surrounding a Rangers revival under Steven Gerrard, they come to Celtic Park with just three wins from their last nine in all competitions, out of both cups, and trailing the Celts by ten points. Well, it's been a long one for them. I think mm -hmm. you're starting to see them uh, tire quite a bit. Um, they had a good run in the Europa League. I think the, the league obviously hasn't been much better than it has been for the last couple of seasons. But um, I think the, the European campaign at the start of it, when you take it all together, I think Rangers have definitely been better on the whole this season. They've just, uh, they've just stuttered once too many in the, in the, on the domestic front. Yeah. But from a Celtic side of things, it's fair to say that we haven't hit top gear in recent weeks. I thought we were flat, I, I thought we were a bit disappointed, we played in front of them a lot, but the result's the thing that matters. We a bit flat first half, we don't really create enough chances really. There's obviously been a few hiccups, you know, there's, it's not going to be easy for players because although Lenny said he's going to try and keep the system the same, minimum disruption, there is going to be an element of disruption. We've got over the line, uh, you know, in almost every game, it's not been pretty, but you know, we're at that stage, we just want to be winning matches um, and, you know, he's managed to deliver that. So, ultimately, when we look back, I don't think we're going to complain too much once we've got that league title wrapped up. Motivation is never in short supply on these occasions, but if the players need any extra impetus, then they should look no further than the 1-0 defeat at Ibrox in December. As ever with this fixture, the media circus is in full swing but it's nearly time for the talking to stop.
for today um, wherever you are in the world tonight enjoy yourself I know I will be um, 13 points clear champions again we'll see you at St Murn on Wednesday hail hail